Under one of my last videos, I was asked why I only look at the military history of Germany and don't talk about other interesting German people. I can only agree that there is much more to German history than the pure military aspect. Therefore, in today's video, I'm speaking about one of the most famous German scientists of the 20th century, Mr. Albert Einstein. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments what you think about this new expansion of my channel. With that in mind, I am Wolf from German history with a German accent. Albert Einstein was born on March 14th in the year 1879 in Ulm in southern Germany, a son of Hermann and Paulina Einstein. After his birth, Einstein's family moved to Munich in the following year where his father, together with his uncle, started his own business. While in school, Albert Einstein was a great student in science classes while he wasn't doing as great in language classes. In the year 1894, Albert Einstein, without graduating high school, moved to Milan with his family. Two years later, after he graduated high school in Switzerland, he attended university in Zürich for mathematics and physics. In the same year, Albert Einstein gave up his German citizenship and remained without citizenship for the following five years, before he became a citizen of Switzerland. During his time at the university, he met Mileva Marik, whom Einstein would fall in love with and eventually marry her in the year 1903 against the will of both families. Together, they would have three children, a daughter and two sons. Einstein graduated university in the year 1900. It was about two years later when he, with, his, with the help of his friend Marcel Grossmann, obtained employment in the Swiss Patent Office in Bern. During this time, he began meeting with a few friends discussing science and philosophy. They called themselves the Olympia Academy. In the year 1905, Albert Einstein had his amazing year after he finished his thesis and became a PhD at the University of Zürich. He also published papers on the photoelectric effect, Brownian motion, the special theory of relativity, and the equivalence of mass and energy. In the following years, Albert Einstein became a lecturer, not only at the University of Bern, but also in Prague, by 1911, at that time Austro-Hungary, which would lead him to obtain the citizenship of Austro-Hungary. And only three years later, Einstein also became a professor at the University of Berlin in Prussia, Germany. And since Einstein was only allowed to teach, but not obligated to do so, he found much time to finish his general relativity theory and published it in the year 1916. Einstein was also a member of the Prussian Academy of Science since the year 1913. This time he also obtained the German citizenship again. In October of the year 1917, Albert Einstein became the director of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physics and he held that position up until the year 1933. Since 1917, Einstein's cousin, Elsa Löwenthal, spent more and more time with Albert and a romance developed. He therefore divorced his wife, Mileva, in the year 1919. Three years later, while being on a lecture journey in Japan, Albert Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics, which he received for the law of the photoelectric effect. When he turned 50 years old, in the year 1929, the city of Berlin intended to gift Einstein a family house, uh, which turned into quite a, a medial controversy. As a reaction, Einstein waved, waved the gift and financed the house himself. During his lifetime, Albert Einstein was a genius in self-promoting, resulting in him being popular all around the world. The state of Prussia granted him to travel around the world and hold presentations. Before the Nazis rose to power in the year 1933, Albert Einstein had planned to teach one half of the year 
at Princeton University in New Jersey and spent the other half of the year in Berlin. But since Adolf Hitler became the Reich's Chancellor in the year 1933, Einstein, who was Jewish, changed his plans. He handed in his German passport in, Bru in uh, the German embassy in Brussels and informed the Prussian Academy of Science that he would revoke his membership. By 1934, he lost his German citizenship. Since the year 1935, Albert Einstein lived in Princeton. In the following year, Einstein's wife Elsa died and Einstein's sister, Maya, joined him in Princeton in the year 1939. And since October of 1940, Einstein was a US citizen. Just before the Second World War started, he signed a letter written by a fellow scientist, Leo Sisler, warning the US President Franklin D. Roosevelt of the dangers of a possible German nuclear bomb, which he later deemed to be a mistake. Albert Einstein, whom openly sympathized with communism, was therefore not cleared by US authorities to work at the Manhattan Project. After Nazi Germany had surrendered, he never went back to Germany and kept his distance to the people whom, quote, murdered his Jewish brothers. He didn't even want his books to be published in Germany anymore. But it's left to say that Einstein didn't generally hate individual Germans, especially not those who have kept their distance to the Nazis. He died on April 18th in the year 1955 in Princeton, United States, at the age of 76. Thank you so much for watching.